Hey everybody, welcome back to Up North Aquatics. Uh, today we got a product re review for you. Wow, a product review for you. So as you can see, since adding some extra lights for these tubs and stuff, I'm starting to get some algae problems on my glass here. So I went ahead and went to my local Walmart because I have no pet stores and picked up this uh, Aquatech magnetic algae remover. So I figured I might as well bring you guys along with me as we uh, kind of open it up, get it put together and see how good it works. Um, it's only like $7, so it's really not a huge loss if it doesn't work that well. I know there are some really good brands out there that are a little pricier, but are kind of tried and true and proven. And they also float. This one does not float. Um, but this is all I have available to me. I can order one in, I guess. But today I was at the store because I was getting some of the rest of the supplies for the planted tank rack, which that video will be coming soon. Part two to that will be coming soon. Part one is already on the channel if you want to check that out. Um, I was grabbing supplies for that. Figured I'd pick this up while I was there. So I'm going to go ahead, get it open, show you what it looks like, and then we'll test it out. All right, so here it is put together out of the package. First impression, it's a pretty strong magnet. I am kind of worried about the thickness of the glass on the 125. I think it was meant for more 10 gallon, 20 gallon, 55 gallon thickness glass this glass is much thicker but it is i mean it is pretty strong i guess the green pad goes on the inside the yellow pad is kind of an anti-scratch and it does have this rope that um, ties to either end and hooks around the rim of the tank so that if the magnet inevitably eventually does fall you're not like fishing for it with your hand or a net or something you can actually just pull it up by the string which i think is a great idea because as i said these are not the expensive floating kind of magnet. This is the $7 Walmart magnet. So it doesn't come with some of the bells and whistles like the um, ability to float. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this on the tank and we'll film some algae cleaning. And that'll, I guess, give us the, um, give us the uh, best um, summary of if this was a good purchase or not is A, if it sticks to the tank and B, if it actually cleans this algae right here so this will be our test this patch of algae this patch and again i only clean the front viewing panels of my tanks i let the algae grow on the sides but this will be our test right here so i'm going to put the magnet up to it i'll film myself cleaning it and we'll all get a really good idea of uh, whether this is worth seven dollars or uh whether i wasted my money today so <laughs> i'll be right back all right well as you can see it sticks through the glass and it moves it around well I'm, i've not tried this little patch of algae yet so here we go i guess Wow, look at that. I mean, this is real time. I haven't tried this yet and check this out guys. Seven, whoop, <laughs> thank goodness for that rope, right? I wasn't planning on getting that on camera, but I guess that also proves that I was worth it too. Seven dollars and it cleaned that probably foot chunk of algae just like that. Again, this is what it looked like. Well, let's find a better example. This is what it looked like. And this is what that magnet did. Look at how clear we could see in there. Perfect. And as we also saw, magnet falls. Whoop, rope came untied on this end. If the magnet falls, you could just pick it back up with that rope. Stick it back with the magnet. Can I help you, Dad? There you go. Beauty. Can I All right, guys, well, there you have it. Uh, pleasantly surprised. For seven dollars to get an algae scraper that will um i mean i guess the one negative would be that it doesn't uh doesn't float um so you do have to kind of reel it in and out of the tank with that rope that you see dangling there other than that it's it's kind of like all positives i mean it doesn't have a scraper on it it's more of like a scrubber like a like a coarse pad but it, it works great um it can handle for how small it is it can handle that thick glass on the bigger tanks um, and as we've seen, I mean, yeah, it, it worked perfectly. So for $7, that is the Aquatech and it's going to be backwards because my camera's backwards. Aquatech magnetic algae remover. It says it's ideal for aquariums, glass or acrylic. And, uh, for seven bucks, I'll stand by it. So, um, if you're in a situation where I'm at, where, uh, you don't have a pet store and you're relying on Walmart, that's something they could definitely get you cheap. Or if you're just, you know, trying to, uh, establish a tank and be as budget friendly as possible. 
also another great thing to do. Um, I definitely stand by this product and it's only like $3 more than an actual algae scrubber, which would you know pretty much require you to put your hands in the tank. So a way to keep your hands dry. Um, one thing to mention, uh, and this goes for all algae. I lost half that video and I don't know how. The thing I was gonna mention, it's, it's the next day I'm like putting it together while I'm uh, just hanging out with the kids. Uh, <laughs> it's the next day and one thing, one thing that I was gonna mention about the algae scraper is um, if you do get sand, like gravel or dirt on the scraper, you are gonna have to pull it out and clean it, but that kind of goes for every scraper. Um, you wanna keep that pad that's touching the glass on both sides clean. Otherwise, it's gonna scratch up your glass and acrylic and we, uh, we don't want that, right? So, um, so I wouldn't really consider that a con against the magnetic product that I showed you because it applies to all of them, but that's just something to keep in mind if you're looking for an algae scraper, even if you don't go with the one that, um, the one that we just saw, I, they, you do have to be careful not to get debris on them or else you could scratch your tank. Um, so yeah, that, that was the first product review we've done on the channel. So let me know what you think. Uh, comment, please like, and subscribe. It, it, it really helps me out. And I really thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody who subscribed so far, we're pushing 50 subscribers. That's awesome. So thank you all so much. Um, and yeah, also up North aquatics on TikTok, up North aquatics, aquarium advice and adventures on Facebook. If you are interested in following along, we have a lot of fun. Try to stay positive, but I do show you kind of the good, bad, and the ugly too. So, um, but yeah, let's have a good time. Let's talk fish, and um, I will see you later. Thanks for stopping by.